Gerald and his wife are still working to repair the damage after learning his parents were victims of identity theft. And I found that oh, about $6,000 was debited from her checking account. And, uh, and actually I questioned them and they, had, uh, they weren't aware of it or how it happened. Turns out the home health aide hired to help the couple was actually stealing from them. They had a trusting relationship. My father was crazy about him. Everything was going swell. Until, he, until they got swindled. The fraud was revealed after Gerald's mother called him confused about withdrawals from her account. He quickly realized what was going on after looking at the couple's checkbook. Some checks were manipulated for different figures. Uh, some checks were made out to cash, some checks went to Costco. That's not all. Their personal information was being used to open new credit card accounts and apply for loans. In all, the couple lost $25,000. Their privacy was invaded. And it seems like they were robbed, literally robbed by somebody they trusted. Postal inspectors say there were dozens of victims and the home health aid was part of an identity theft ring. Once identity is stolen and is able to be used, it can be sold across the country to whoever is willing to attempt to use it further, even though it has been flagged. Gerald froze his parents' accounts, so if anyone tries to apply for credit with their information, he will be alerted. We pay extra now through TransUnion. Their name's a Social Security number. I get a monthly report on any and all activity. They were able to shut most of it down, but a lot did go through, and they're still, to this day, many months later, still receiving notifications from the credit bureaus of, of new attempts on new accounts.